Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a full face tutorial, get ready with me, trying out new makeup. I did give in, I bought some of the new Charlotte Tilbury items for the holiday. I have here the new Juvia's Play Stick Foundation. They sent this over to me and I am finally going to test it out for you guys. I have the new Dose of Color Concealer, I have some new Marc Jacobs, I have quite a few new things here. So if you would like to see how I create this full face just keep watching as you can see I already have my brows done already have my eyes primed and now I am ready for foundation and I'm gonna go in with the new Juvia's place stick foundation in the shade Nepal this is what the packaging looks like and here is the stick I am NOT going to paint this directly on my face with stick foundations I find that I like to actually apply it to the sponge and then tap it on my face so that is what I'm going to do. I don't have any primers on the perimeter of my face, but I do have my pores done. I always have my pores primed and that information is listed down below. I'm just going to tap this into the skin. I just had my tooth worked on again. This whole side of my face is hurting me. Ugh. If you remember, I had one extracted and I have to get uh, an, an implant and I was at the dentist's office from four o'clock until 8.35, 835 at night. And I am so grateful to them for staying that late. Usually they stay open until seven. I know that's really weird for a dentist's office, but they stay open later and just don't open on Fridays, which is amazing. But they are just so kind. But this side of my face is like a uh, by mel <laughs> and especially when I am tapping foundation on it it's like mm -mm, no we don't feel like we don't like that so far this color is really really good for me I'm liking it and it appears to be going into the skin very nicely the nose is usually a spot that I have issues with stick foundations wanting to go in to place we'll see right here I can't see <laughs> I'm not close enough to my mirror to really be able to tell how something looks unless it looks really bad then I can I can tell but I'll tell you guys after I get up close getting a little bit more on my sponge so I can do my forehead I like the coverage I feel like it's a nice medium it's probably buildable I would assume that this is buildable but I like the amount of coverage I get with this just one coat. I'm just spreading it around, making sure it's really into my skin, just pressing it in. I got close up in the mirror, checked out my nose, and we are good. I will zoom you guys in in just a second, but I want to go ahead and do my concealer first. And I'm going to go in with the new Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue, and I'm using the shade number 11, Light Medium. I love their foundation, and I've been wanting to try this out. I actually wore it yesterday, so. I'll tell you what I think in a minute, but <laughs> I've been wanting to try this out, but I've been so in love with my Giorgio Armani that I'm just like, no, nah, I don't want to try another concealer. But I finally gave it into this one. This has that really ginormous doe foot applicator. Go in and blend this out. So I wore this yesterday and I absolutely loved it. I thought it looked beautiful. I had it on with my Surratt Beauty um, foundation, the Dew Drop, and it looked great with that. And so far, it's looking nice with this foundation as well. I'm going to show you guys this close up before I move on to the powder, but this is one layer of the foundation, the concealer. I think that everything looks nice on my skin. I feel like the foundation is a nice natural matte finish. Everything looks nice and smooth. My pores look good. I'm happy with everything thus far. Let's move on to powder. To set my under eye, I'm going to go in with my Becca Under Eye Brightening Powder. This is not a new powder, but it's just one that I've been grabbing for a lot again recently. I, if I'm not on camera or if I'm not doing my eyeshadow on camera, I have been picking this one up again and only setting with this. But if I do my eyes, I usually like to go in with the Huda Beauty Powder 
and I will bake so I catch any fallout and that really perfects everything. But with the season changing, I have been reaching for this again and I've really been liking more of a skin-like type of finish like the By Terry powders. I love them. Um, just, I don't know. I have been changing things up just a little bit, but even if I am going to be baking, which I will be doing later whenever I go and I put on my eyeshadow, this is like, speak Mel, you can do it. Uh, <laughs> I will do this because I don't want a double layer of the Huda. Not that it looks bad. It's just, again, I'm just, you know, you change preferences every once in a while and I'm you know, really liking this powder again. And I'm using a Wayne Goss number three. I love these brushes for underneath the eye. They apply powder so softly. I'm getting into this inner corner right here to make sure that the concealer is really set. This is a powder I purchased based off my love for the new foundation. It is from Shiseido and this is called the Synchro Skin Invisible Silk Loose Powder, and it is Radiant Eclat. I have used this a few times, but like ever since I got my Kokendo, Kogendo, Koge, whatever. <laughs> I have been using that one and then the By Terry, but I want to test this one out again. And I'm using my Sonia G Face Pro. As you can see, there's like this little piece of fabric. This piece seems to be kind of trendy. And I'm getting just the perfect amount when I'm picking up the powder with the brush. And I'm just setting all over. I feel like this gives a little bit of radiance to the skin. It does not have any shimmer particles or anything like that. It's very lightweight. I don't feel like it changes the color of my foundation. And again, this is one I've used a few times, but I haven't picked up as much because by Terry and Kogan Doe, like those, mm, they're so good. If you missed my last get ready with me trying out new makeup, so this powder right here, if you can see, like I am almost out of it. That's how much I have been using this. And it's the Sheer Moist powder, I believe. It's not the Sheer Lucent, it's moist. It doesn't have any kind of like wet feeling or anything like that. It's just very hydrating on the skin. It just feels amazing. But this one is beautiful as well. Oh, I've got some big news, you guys. I am so excited. I don't know why I'm still doing this. I, I don't know why. Um, but I've got some stuff to tell you, and I'm just like counting down the days. I only have a few more days left before I can tell you guys this amazing news, and it's killing me. I know I'm probably like teasing you guys a little bit right now, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm like getting butterflies thinking about it right now. I just can't wait to tell you. I just can't wait to tell you. Okay, moving on to bronzer. Actually, I just lied to you, but I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm going to be moving on to my eyes. Right now, I'm just putting on my Tatcha lip balm, Camilla Goldspun lip balm. Uh, again, you guys see me do this all the time, very awkwardly, but I have to have this on. I always put it on after I do my foundation and my powder. Now moving on to the eyes, this is what I'm going to be using for my face as well, but I'm going to do my eyes first. And I gave in to this, I gave in, I gave in. This is the Instant Look in a Palette Gorgeous Glowing Beauty 5 Minute Face on the Go. And I love these colors. I mentioned that this looked like the most beautiful one that they have done but that I didn't know if I was gonna pick it up and you guys let me know. I had a lot of people requesting this, but what sealed the deal was uh, this highlighter. I completely forgot about this. I might be wrong, but I don't remember this being in, like when I did my purchase or pass the picture, I don't remember seeing this in the picture. I know I didn't talk about this highlighter, but um, yes, we, we, uh, purchased this. So I decided I was also going to go ahead and purchase the palette to go along with it. So I'm getting off course. Anywho, I'm going to go in and start with my eyes with this palette. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. So Niji crease two, and I'm going to start off with the bronzer starting on the outer corner, really the outer crease. I'm going to apply this and bring it upward. Bring it into the inner portion of the crease as well. Back and forth, windshield wiper motions. 
and then circular motions on this outer portion. I'm gonna make sure I smoke it out and bring it upward a little bit. Using the same brush, I'm gonna grab the number three smoke shade, applying this actually to the outer corner. Kind of tapping it into place initially. And then I'm going to do what it says, smoke it out. Focusing on the outer portion of the eye. I will bring this a little bit into the crease, but only about three quarters of the way. I just kind of want to blend it over there. Wayne Goss number 19 in the center color, deepening up this outer V, bringing it into the crease. I'm also going to apply this about halfway over the lid. Sonia G Worker Pro in the first shade, placing this all over the front portion of the lid, tapping over the edge of the other shades. I'm kind of going to take my brush, my brush, <laughs> my brush on its edge and work it right up in this area, kind of blending it into the other shades. My brush, that has to be one of the best ones yet. Excess from the brush right at the brow arch. Wayne Gas number five and the smoke shade. I am taking this right up against my lower lash line. I'm not going to take this as far down as I typically would. Going in with a clean sponge, I'm just going to clean up the edge just by dragging it upward. Mark Jacobs Blitz Coined. I'm going to place this right at the base of my lashes. I might have to finish this off camera. This is the new metallic liquid eyeliner. I finished off my eyes as always with my Milk Boss Liner on the top and rim. Now I am going to finish off the face. So I'm going to go back into the Charlotte Tilbury palette and I'm going to grab the bronzer on my Designer Pro from Sonia G. She sent this to me. Why does everything, like everything rhymes with Sonia G? Sonia G, Builder 3, Sonia G sent this to me. <laughs> I am getting a little too excited, but this brush is amazing and I'm finally going to get to show you guys. So I'm going to pick this up. I would typically use this brush for my blush, but it's the perfect size to fit into the little compact in here. So I'm gonna use it for my bronzer today. And I'm just going to blend this onto my skin. I'm gonna start off with a light hand with my bronzer and build as needed. It looks like this bronzer has a little hint of pink to it. And no, this brush is clean. It doesn't have any um, blush or anything in it. So I'm not getting like a mixture of products. Just think that it has like the slightest little bit of pink, which is nice. It matches the eyes really well. I like the color, especially going into the winter. A pink undertone bronzer is really pretty for the winter time. I'm liking it so far. Just in case anybody was wondering what I had on my nose, because I'm sure you saw that it was already done before I started the bronzer. I did my nose before, the little contour before I did my eyes and I baked. So this is what I use. It's from By Terry and it's the Terribly Denseless Contouring Little Beige Contrast Palette number 200. So this is what is on my nose. Now I'm going to go back into the palette again and I'm going to grab the blush on the same brush. See? All the rhymes, all the rhymes today. You can pop and, it's the pop and swish. This is the pop, this is the swish, but I'm just going in with this one right here. I'm going to just pull this.
Wayne Goss 24S and the face highlight. I'm going to start lightly on the cheekbones. So you can see that just gives you a glow. It's not super intense, but it's okay because I have that other highlighter. <laughs> I'm going to take this on my forehead, a little bit on my chin, nose, making sure everything's blended out. And then I'm going to go in with that other highlight. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Star Highlight. Look at it. It's so pretty. I have to touch it first. Let's see. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. I am going to use my Linda Hallberg 306, and I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to apply that. Oh, oh yes. Give it to me. <laughs> okay, I'm putting this just on this little C action right here. It is so pretty. I will pick up like the bar of gold and a few other um, highlighters to compare this to really quickly for you guys, but man, that's stunning. Wow. I, I, I'm going to do a little Rudolph action. Wayne Goss, I hear you already. Anker. I mean, we're going to soften it up a little bit, but I don't care. <laughs> By Terry Apricot Light Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. I'm going back in with the Wayne Goss 24S. I don't know why I can't remember that. I wiped off the excess highlight. I'm just going to pick up some of this powder, tap off the excess. And this is what I'm going to use to buff with. Spreading it out first and then going in. And I'm going to go underneath my eyes, make everything smooth. And look how it just calms down that highlighter. I'm not as much of a Rudolph anymore. It just makes everything blend together. But I still have that beautiful glow. I am going to quickly change into my cute shirt because I don't get ready in my cute shirt. And I will be right back. All right, you guys, I am back in my cute shirt. <laughs> and this reminds me of T, nappy-headed jojoba. If you guys do not watch her, you should. I'm absolutely obsessed with her. I will put her channel just on so I can listen to her talk. I love her so, so much. But the reason why I'm thinking about her is because she recently wore the yellow version of this shirt and I was commenting on her video. I have the yellow version. I am thinking about purchasing the maroon. I have this black one, and then I also have the ballet pink one, which you guys have seen. And the day that I commented on the yellow shirt that she was wearing, the yellow version of this, I ruined mine. And I can't find, I can't find it anywhere now. And I feel like I jinxed myself. Me commenting on her sweater made me ruin mine. <laughs> I blame you, T. It's your fault. It's not really. I'm just... Just a little upset about it because you guys know how I feel about yellow. I love yellow shirts. Anyway, I need to quit rambling and get into my thoughts on these new products. I'm going to start off with the foundation. The shade that I used, again, is Nepal. I feel like this looks really nice on my skin. I got a nice medium coverage out of it. I like my method of putting it on the sponge for my skin type. I am combo. I have an oily T-zone, and I can be normal to dry on the outskirts of my face, and I feel like this did not cling to anything. I have a little spot right here. It's like a it's like a little scar from an acne spot I had. It didn't cling to that. I didn't have any issues out of it. I have not worn this before, so I'm going to leave down below an update as to how it lasted on my skin. Now, for the powder, I have used this one several times, this Shiseido powder, the Synchro Skin Invisible Silk Loose Setting Powder. This is beautiful. It is very skin like it's radiant without it being sparkly or anything like that it does give you a glow and a slight sheen to the skin this is going to be great for somebody who has dry skin who wants to set their makeup but doesn't want to have that dry powdery look i do prefer my cogendo and i do prefer my by terry powder over this but i think that this is really pretty i'm still going to get use out of it because it's a beautiful powder i just prefer the other ones more than this but with that being said it is beautiful. 
It's very radiant. It's very thin. It's not going to accentuate anything other than pores. I wouldn't suggest like setting your under eye with this if you are going to be going over your pores. I did that once and it, it didn't look super cute, but for the outskirts of my face, it is pretty. The Charlotte Tilbury Face Palette. I'm so glad that I picked this up. I love these tones on my eyes. I love the bronzer color. I love the blush. Absolutely think this is the best one that she has put out. I think the colors in here are so stunning. And this is gonna look good on you year round. It's a beautiful face palette. I would say this is going to work light to medium. This bronzer right here is not going to go far past medium and neither will this blush or highlight. So light to medium, medium tan maybe, but not further than that. This is another case where I feel like they should put out two palettes. I feel like if you're going any brand, any brand that's going to put out a palette, a face palette, you should at least bare minimum be putting out two. So that's my only gripe with that. The highlighter, oh, let me grab, let me grab my highlighters really quickly so I can quickly swatch and see if this is comparable to the Bar of Gold and some other things. This is just off the top of my head. I just grabbed a few that I thought of immediately. So let me swatch this one, the Magic Star Highlighter. So there's that, very much a gold smooth highlighter. I love it. Personally, I think it's beautiful. Now I'm going to take Delicate Dew from Pixi. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. That one is definitely more on the champagne side. This one is more gold. And the Bar of Gold palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to go in with that gold shade right here. You can see how much I love this palette. <laughs> okay, so this one, the new one, is definitely brighter. It's a lighter gold, and it is brighter than the Bar of Gold palette. Um, just for giggles, I know this is going to be a lot brighter, but there's that one. And then lastly, I thought about the Amreezy from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I happen to have one finger or thumb. Is it a finger? <laughs> Left. Let's see. Um, can you see those together side by side? I'll probably pick, let me wipe off one of these. All right, I wiped off Delicate Dew. This is now Anastasia. This is the new one from Charlotte Tilbury. You can see this one is darker and more golden. So it's not like any of the ones that I've picked up. I was surprised. I thought that there was gonna be one in there that was probably gonna be identical. But you know, I'm sure I have something that's more similar in my collection, but just upon my first thought, my initial thought process, it didn't compare to any of those. This is really, really pretty. I'm glad that I have it. All right, let me think, what is next? Oh, okay. Now we need to have a little conversation about this uh, liner right here. First impression was, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I love the color. It is copper. It is amazing. It has this felt tip. It was easy to put on and not as easy to put on like far away. But once I got up close, it was very easy to apply. And I picked up that shade as well as Glamoroon. And this one is more of a rose gold. Let me put that one right underneath. You can see those two. All right, so this is what happened. Hopefully the footage stayed in focus, but if not, I have the pieces right here. When I went to put on my inner rim liner, the Milk Boss liner, this uh, started coming up on the inner corner and I'm going to insert the footage if I, it does show up, if it stays in focus. If not, this is the piece that ended up coming off of my eye. It just peeled right off. So not happy about that. Color-wise, stunning. I was able to fix it, but it got on my lashes, which is really irritating. You know, you get that metallic color on your black already mascara lashes. It is not fun. I will have to update you guys again and let you know if anything happens throughout the day or if that was just like a fluke. Typically, I would have put my eyeliner for my inner rim on before I do the top, but I did it backwards today. However, that still should not have happened. It should not have just flaked off like that on the inner corner. It could be my fault. I mean, I'm just sitting here and wiping these off, and it's not like it's easy to come off. So they seem like they would be long wearing. And when I first applied it, I felt like there's a little bit of tightness, but I don't feel that now. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little, but I don't feel it as much. When it was drying, I was feeling like that little tight factor you can get sometimes with liners. Um, but this eye didn't have any issues. 
I didn't have any issues whenever I reapplied, but we'll have to see. That is frustrating though. It could be a thing to where maybe I just applied too many coats, but I put the same amount on this side. I don't know. I'm just going to have to keep a watch out for that. But forewarning, you guys saw it flaked up on my inner corner. It did not adhere. And then in, when I went to try to fix it, it just came off in a whole section. So keep that in mind. The Designer Pro brush from Sonia G. This is so lovely. I just, I did it again. Sonia G, lovely. It's just too easy. Okay, I'm having way too much fun here. Thank you again, Sonia. This is beautiful. And it applied my bronzer really well. It applied my blush. It's just a beautifully well-rounded brush in general. I, you can't go wrong with Sonia G. Um, I'm trying to think, what else did I try out? Eyes face the dose of colors concealer i knew i was forgetting something this is really nice it is a medium to full coverage i wore it more as a medium coverage it has a really nice texture to it it's a i would say a natural matte like a satin matte type of finish after you set it obviously it's going to look matte but I don't find this to be crinkly underneath the eyes. I like the color of it. I like the finish, everything. It worked really well with my foundation yesterday and it wore well all day long. And I think it looks great with today's foundation as well. So this is a hit. I enjoy this. Do I like it more than my Giorgio Armani? No. Will it go in my drawer of concealers that I'm going to be grabbing for? Yes. All right, you guys, that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please, 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 please keep an eye out for the little something, something that I am working on. I know I teased about it earlier and then I didn't speak about it again. I'm speaking about it now. I can't tell you what it is, but I can just tell you that I think you're going to like it. I mean, I hope you love it. I love it. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's coming soon very, very soon. So just keep an eye out. I love you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.